As a remodeling contractor, as well as a homeowner, there's a lot of reasons why you might want to wash your home. First of all, it's just dirty and it looks like crap, so you need to clean it. The second reason is to prepare for painting. And the latter reason is really the most important reason why we do this. And um, a properly prepared home, the paint will adhere properly. Washing is part of that process, as well as etching and sanding and all the other preparation steps for painting. But washing is often overlooked and important. There's two types of dirt that get on homes and adhere and kind of cause problems with paint adhesion. One is man-made. It's pollution, acid rain. It could be chimney soot or even soot from your, your outdoor barbecue. The other is, is, uh, is natural. It's, it's bird droppings and uh, mold and spores and tree sap. So you want to get that stuff off your home before you start thinking about painting or preparing for paint or if you just want to clean your house. What we like to do is we use a manual scrubbing action. There's nothing better than good old elbow grease and a brush and scrub the dirt off. But we also use a pressure washer or a garden hose if you don't have a pressure washer. People get nervous when you say pressure washing a house. I don't advocate pressure washing most houses. Vinyl siding, it doesn't work. Loose siding, lots of gaps, doesn't work. This particular house, the siding is tight, everything is caulked, all the seams have been flashed. It was built and installed properly. And if you do it properly and don't spray near any weak areas like vents and windows and under doors, you're not gonna have any water getting into the house. So there's basically three steps in this whole process. The first thing before you even start is you want to protect the vegetation underneath. You want to wet down and water the plants, cover them with a tarp or plastic. And then you want to use some sort of a cleaning solution. We use either TSP, trisodium phosphate and bleach to mix in with water, or we use just regular hand soap, uh, dishwashing soap, bleach, and mix that in with water. This particular project, we used a pressure washer. We use the pressure washer to apply the soap all over the house and it, it, it just sucks it through. It, it takes about a gallon of cleaning solution per seven gallons of water. So it auto mixes. I wet the whole house and start to just let it soak in. And then I apply my soap solution. And then I work in four foot by eight foot areas and I just scrub the dirt off with a brush. Next, I change my nozzle to the most gentle nozzle, staying three to four feet away. I just rinse the house down. If you don't have a pressure washer, you use a hose. Just rinse off the dirt, rinse it from a top-down method. So step one, well first protecting the area. Step one is to apply your soap and wet the house. Step two is to scrub it with elbow grease. And step three is to rinse it from top down. Give it at least 48 hours to dry. If you're gonna do any sort of painting or paint preparation or caulking, you wanna let any water that did get into areas to just get out and dry thoroughly before you start doing stuff like that. I'm Rob Robillard, we'll, we'll talk to you next time. Take care.